There's something so beautiful and interesting about balance. It's so simple to perceive yet so difficult to achieve. But balance, once applied to your life, work or even your choice of car, could fill a void in your soul that you didn't even know you had. Sounds like bullshit, right? Well, let me further elaborate with the help of a guidance tool. This is the BMW M340i, what I call balance. Where the M3 is a bit too much and the 330i is a bit too little, this is the perfect blend of both. And I'm not done yet. Because it's a sedan, you can take your kids to school. But it has an inline 6 that has 3 litres and 383 horsepower. So it's going to shove you to the seat like a normal sports car. Um, I think my point is clear now. Uh, let's stop rambling and see what's what, shall we? So you're out with your mates and your friend is right next to you and you tell him, Oh yeah, I have sport mode, I can put it in sport plus also. And I can put my gearbox also in sport mode. And then I can just turn my traction control off, stamp on the brakes and stamp on the throttle. And it will give me a little message and then I just... Zero to 100 in 4.4 seconds and then off to space and then slam on the brakes and then all your organs are back in place while the base 330i punches around 255 horses from a turbo 4 pot this comes with a 3 litre turbo 6 cylinder inline engine which pushes around 383 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque through a 8 speed ZF gearbox. It's a true and tested ZF 8 speed mated to the X drive drivetrain that is perfect. I mean, I don't lose grip anywhere and. And that! The X-Drive system comes equipped with an M differential at the back which supports torque vectoring and the results are immense. While cornering hard, you can feel the car pulling you in a corner and the news gets better. Put the traction control in its dynamic setting and the car lets you have a little fun. It doesn't kick the tail out like a rear wheel drive car but it sure is fun. Put all of this together and it seems as if the M340i doesn't have the word understeer in its dictionary. Thankfully, great handling does not mean that the M340i compromises on ride quality. Selecting the comfort button flushes down the suspension to a, to a cloud and uh, it relaxes the steering wheel, the gearbox becomes butter smooth. You still feel the undulations and bumpy parts of the road. However, it is very very fine to deal with. The truth is, the M340i cannot be as comfortable as a normal 3-year because of its M Sport suspension. The car is 10mm lower than the standard 3 series. The suspension also gets more rigid bearings, firmer springs and anti-roll bars and a higher degree of wheel camber. Even though this all sounds very sporty and not inclined towards comfort, once the car transitions to comfort mode, it doesn't feel unsettling at all. There are more M Sport goodies around the car like the M Sport brakes which have ventilated discs and 4 pistons. The steering also has variable ratios. Put it in sport mode and it becomes heavy and you need to apply less steering angle to make the car rotate. Considering the dimensions of the G20 series lineup of 3 series, the 340i isn't a small car. However, it handles and feels like one. That's a good thing because the M340i pivots like Lionel Messi dribbling defenders and it corners on its tiptoes without much body roll. It's the perfect mix of a stiff chassis with just enough steering communication to know when the car has settled after every turn. The rear differential that's standard on the M340i moves the back end around confidently and when the brakes grip, it works with the traction control systems to give me plenty of rope without letting me hang myself.
Well, you might be thinking to yourself, well, Bhavni, this is a 330i M Sport. I can't find the difference. Well, I'm going to tell you right now. So you can check out the ORVMs and you will see that there is an anodized finish to it as well as the kidney grill has the same anodized finish if you are a bit of an observant boy you can actually check out that the car has M calipers on them and if you are a listening person you can listen to the car and actually understand that this is a six cylinder engine the M340i stays true to the sleeper formula it doesn't have the outrageous front end of the new M3 and M4. Instead, you get a more subtle kidney grill. But it is different to the traditional one you find on the normal 3 Series. The back end is also a little different. You get the M Sport bumper and diffuser with kinda real, kinda fake exhaust tips. Overall, the 3 Series is a very classic looking BMW. It doesn't have the weird traits that everyone is hating about in the new M3 and M4. Instead, it looks quite like how a BMW should. Classy yet discreet. The interior is filled with quality materials like Alcantara, leather and this amazing looking trim. You get the well working iDrive system with the BMW Virtual Drivers display. The seats are M Performance Sport seats so they have lovely blue accents to them and they keep you in place while you're cornering hard. The cabin feels spacious and airy, partly due to the sunroof which lets a lot of light in. The steering is an M performance steering so you get the paddle at the back and your media, cruise control and driver's display button on the front and the speakers are from Harman and Carden. But the best part about this package is hopefully the price. After looking at the success Mercedes AMG garnered with the locally assembled 43 AMGs in India, BMW has also taken the courageous decision and the M340i is going to be the first M performance car to be locally assembled here in India. That means we can expect this insane performance and luxury at a very reasonable 60 to 70 lakhs. While this sweet ride isn't a real thoroughbred, it's still quite far away from the 330i and it will still see you taking the long way home on your way back from work and it will also take you calmly in congested traffic. So this is a really sweet spot for a sports sedan in India. However, it still does have an M badge and you do have to recognize that this is not a scary car. The four wheel drive system makes it a very sedate car which means that the Mness of it is a little compromised. However, if this car had an MX drive or even just rear wheel drive, this in my opinion would have been the perfect BMW. Thank you so much for watching. This was Bhavneet. See you in the next one.